It was a great start to the day for a lot of you, but over the course of the morning, some of those mid and high level clouds thinned out and we had some sunshine peeking through. But if you weren't up in the mountains, a lot of you didn't get a chance to enjoy it. In fact, we we're still socked in in the Salt Lake Valley, not only with the smog and the haze, but also some fog and low clouds. So it was looking pretty murky out there. And even after the fog thins out, well, the bad air quality remains as the inversion is still going strong. So another hazy day, but luckily, Relief is in sight. In fact, even by tomorrow, the first in a couple storms will be moving in, and that will start to break up the inversion. It might not scour out the pollution entirely tomorrow, but over the course of the weekend, uh, things are going to be looking a lot better, at least in terms of the air quality. It'll still be pretty gray out there as we get another storm moving in Saturday, and that'll bring an even better chance of some heavy snow. And we had a disturbance that slid by the south overnight, really without much of an impact because it was so far to the south of Utah. But the next system, the first in that series that'll move in this weekend, is moving into the Pacific Northwest. That'll be arriving tomorrow, but at ahead of it, uh, mid and high level clouds still drifting through. So even though some sunshine will peak through at times, it'll be mostly cloudy in the Salt Lake Valley with that thick haze and a temperature that'll only climb into the upper 30s, like the last couple days. Valley haze lingers over northern Utah. Uh, you'll stay socked in with clouds in you into basin, but in general, partly to mostly cloudy over the north. So some of you see some sunshine and then partly cloudy over the south with a lot of temperatures hovering very close to where they've been the last couple days. If you make it into the mid 50s in St. George. Salt Lake City tonight, it stays cloudy, gets even colder. Tomorrow morning, we'll drop into the upper 20s. But as that storm approaches and some moisture moves in, we'll get a chance of some light snow showers uh, developing late. In fact, uh, some of you will be waking up to some snow in the north, especially closer to the Idaho border and up in the mountains. Uh, in the south, it'll be partly to mostly cloudy, so that cloud cover will be increasing as the system approaches. And in St. George, you'll be dropping down into the low 30s. Now, again, tomorrow is the first round of storm with the weaker system, but by the end of the day, there could be several inches of snow in the northern mountains, possibility of two to five along the northern Wasatch Front, most of that on the benches. Other northern valleys end up with anywhere from a trace to an inch, a few inches along parts of the Wasatch Back, especially Ogden Valley, and then minor accumulations in the central and southern mountains. But over the weekend, that snow becomes even more widespread, so be prepared for winter driving conditions. In fact, by Sunday night into Monday morning, when things wind down, we could end up with one to three feet of snow in the northern mountains, so a little bit less than that over the higher terrain of the central part of the state. We could end up with several inches overall in some of the northern valleys, lighter amounts the farther south you go, but still a storm that's going to impact much of the viewing area. Even tomorrow in St. George, you can get a chance of some rain showers, even though they won't stick around. That next system primarily impacts the north over the weekend, and in St. George, you'll be sunny and gradually warm up. Looks like temperature will climb into the mid-50s by Sunday, and then by the middle of next week, you'll make it all the way up near 60. So some big improvement. And in Salt Lake City, tomorrow it's going to be cloudy with a high of 37. We'll have that chance of snow showers, and then the snow becomes more likely and heavy at times.